Grog receptor interaction involves all known type of bonds ionic, hydrogen, van der Waal, and covalent. Drugs with short duration of action generally have weaker bonds. Long duration or irreversible drug interactions may have stronger bonds such as covalent. Molecules, for example, drugs that bind to a receptor are called ligands. Ligands bind to the precise molecular regions called recognition sites on receptor macromolecules that may be the same as or different from that of an endogenous agonist. Agonists that bind to a different site on a receptor are sometimes called allosteric agonists. Agonists activate the receptors to produce desired response. Conventional agonists increases the proportion of activated receptors. Inverse agonists stabilizes the receptor in its inactive conformation and acts similarly to competitive antagonists. Antagonists prevent receptor activation and produce various effects. Receptor antagonists can be reversible or irreversible. Reversible antagonists readily dissociate from their receptors. Irreversible antagonists form a stable, permanent, or nearly permanent chemical bond with their receptors. Pseudo-irreversible antagonists slowly dissociate from their receptors. In competitive antagonism, binding of the antagonist to the receptor prevents binding of the agonist to the receptors. In non-competitive antagonism, agonists and antagonists can be bound simultaneously, but antagonist binding reduces or prevents the action of agonists. In reversible competitive antagonism, agonists and antagonists form short-lasting bond with the receptor and a steady state among agonists, antagonists, and receptor is reached. Watch detailed lecture on scardia.com pharmacology course. That's two minutes. See you in the next video.